Hey everyone, we are back with table 3 I think. We have Wani Kraken versus Stark Hollow Hill. Uh, I know that Dave's game, uh, Dave vs Thomas is going to be covered by Raps on his stream, so you can find it there at r480 twitch.tv slash r480 and Table 1 is a suit mirror match, so I feel like with that won't be that interesting. And we have a shadow match up here. Uh, Wani Kraken versus Stark uh, Hollow Hill. A honestly good start for the Wani. We know there isn't uh, Ravages of War in this uh, Stark Hollow Hill, but let's see. How this will go from here. Uh, almost every faction made it to the cut aside from Tyrell and Baratheon, which is very surprising. I mean, uh, I'm happy to see it. So everyone managed to pull to pull through with a good uh, build and situation. We see at the gates into form for favor. Looks like I'll be alone for this one. Maybe for the next one, Petter will join me. Uh, get to the moon red on the board. So. You see, we will see several cards match up in the shadow eyes in here. We'll see how things will go afterwards. And looks like Joe decided to stop there, just at an extra card in shadow. Gonna get the moon and The bear I want scout, finding another or cancelled immediately. The question is is Joe going to bring it out now? Arbor Watchman. Uh, I think this will pinch the economy. Very hard here. For uh, Joe and the same and Aria. You have two array of characters there and icons. Winter icon. So double entry frame right off the bat. Mm, it's uh, I see discarded for Gunther effect and claim is I'm no one. I would have played this. I feel like at least on the same. Nightfire <laughs> number one. Let's see. Wait, I need somewhere to write down how many times Nightfire is going to be triggered this game. So, this was number one. Oh, looks like there was another one, so these challenges we're gonna see a military challenge, let's the same. Uh, 
<laughs> People want to watch uh... Tamash, a boring wall deck. Uh, thanks, Kiro, for the support. Uh, it's uh, twitch.tv. Uh, this should be a rough stream, and there you should find David Dave and Martel Knight of the Whole Hill versus Tamash playing Knight of Valerian still. Mm, and they enter challenge at the end. Also, he's going to check before doing the power challenge. Let's see, against Dorto discarded at random. And power challenge for all the same. And it draws a second card for the inside. Not a bad start for the whole hill. Uh, but it feels like that the one is also set to put considering there is a um, yeah, after is useful in uh, Shadow. So this will be there to prevent triggers like the Arbor Watchman and uh, stuff like that. This ship. So Nightflyer is a shadow, a one cost location shadow X reaction after Nightflyer comes out of shadow. Choose a location cost with, with printed cost X or lower and discard it from play plus one initiative. We see Murgulis into exchange. Yep, made sense. We see Arya Stark, Karenko, and Marriage Pack added to the. Uh, and. Let's see. Shibe, Jason Malister, Summer, Arya Stark, Captain Stark, Marriage Pack. Rounds is now better on Scout, Karenko, most hard scouts added. So. Aria is dead, at least this area. Uh, but uh, definitely, so first player, Joy is gonna be first player. Harenko is gonna be pain in the ass to deal with, considering in the skillful hands of uh, Darren. Uh, and it will require quite the a economy investment for Nightfire to discard it without an effect. Yeah. So for Kikicha, uh, Nightfire is used actively to trip locations from the game and the Wani Kraken list can abuse it constantly. Nope, because it's only one deck can, that can abuse it and the deck is very hard to pilot. I don't think it was ever considered for a restriction Nightfire or uh, uh, something like that. This could be abused only with one Easter. And it has to be one Kraken, not uh, the other way around. Else it's not that abusable, unless you discard it and find it here the abuses that you can trigger the same one several times it is unique here in the sense so
So, second turn without much a, a problem there. Looks like, uh, but now the knife wire is removed, so you have to draw another one. See, King's Road, Last Heart Scouts, the Morgulis is gone. So, this will help keep everything in check. And a Dreadfort Master. Also, here being first, although did he choose to be first? And got distracted while trying to add the names of the players on the board. Um, no, Joe let him go first. Surprise. So, another Nightwire. This is gonna be expensive. Looks like he did find it. But now he's going to get. Uh, he's pretty slowed down currently. Just the uh, way how big an investment that was. But there is almost nothing for him to do this turn, and it's gonna be probably a double claim uh, intrigue. Mm -hmm. We have a clever feint and Tyrion. So Tyrion is the reason that the deck works. I'm surprised he didn't clever feint it actually. Uh, into the intrigue to hide the Nightwire away, but looks like it wasn't necessary. And so because the problem with Nightwire and this list comes from Tyrion, but he is good for him to have that uh, strong version of him, especially for Shadows. So when a non -sh when a non event shadow card comes out of shadow, he can return another one to shadow, and this is where the problem comes with Nightfire because you can return him to shadow when, or for example, one of the bazillion shadow cards come out. So Joe is probably going into March here. Yep, those as well, but the problem comes again from the start. It's the Nightfire that initiates everything of this. We see... March. So the Dreadfort might are gonna be March. And you win or you die. This is like a very early you win or you die, I don't know why. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Marauders. The question is what he is naming here. Arenho? Oh. Okay, Shiber, Shiber. That was a good guess. For the spicy trick of slot. I mean, Ultimate Guildhall can cancel the first here, not for the other card that come out of Shadow, but it's gonna get overwhelmed. You see, 9 gold. The question is what's left in hand. Bear Island Scout. And with this, the economy is taxed pretty much. There is an area. I'm no one. Yep. And this now scores the face again uh, because uh, Optimus Guildhall has to come out for two. And currently it can't. Uh, defend with the last hard scouts here. Definitely. And then draw with the bare island scouts. A lot of scouts. Uh, Joyce running a single copy of... Fuck. I don't know where this will go. Wrong PC, wrong screen. 
uh, forget, forgot to get myself the decks. Okay. Joy Srinik is single copy of uh, underhanded methods. Oh. Jo no! Hate you. I hate you so much. Click here first. Then click here. Yep, a single copy of underhanded methods, and then there is probably if there is the tunnels, but it's a single copy of tunnels as well. So, but he's selling two copies of hand judgment, so maybe he will be able to cancel the unknown that's in hand. And no more challenges for Rujo. I'm no one. The question is, is there German? There is. So, do we do a intrigue or a power now? A uh, military or power? I would. There is no power on the faction card, so you just do military. Potentially kill them, so Iron Bank return to hand makes sense. And this is going to tie the dominoes. Oh, Montana, Roberto. Yep. Deal as hard scouts and he's going to win dominance this way. Oh, he did it in dominance, so yeah. So, this is gonna be March probably. For the, although this looks like there is a flavor paint, so he drew a very event heavy hand. Which explains the slow start, but the Nightfire is gonna go back to Shadow. You see, Aria and Aria discarded here. Reserve. So, the last card in hand is Marriage Pack. Mm -hmm. Then we see March play, and Darren chose uh, Joel to go first. Um, I forgot to count. I think this is the third one. Yep, there was a current hole, and there was a. This is going to hit cost. Two. Wait, how the hell does he uh, always know what to hit? But there is another Rothschild scout there. And the winter is coming. I think from here out the Wani is in solid control.
And we have Cersei hitting the winter is coming. Into the challenge to remove the Wasp Scout. Now the question is are we gonna see a, the third copy of Clever Faint? Drawn like a boss because uh, it, this is gonna get more ghoulish definitely. It's scary enough as a of a board. Oh and they this uh, iron bank uh, pillaged. Dominant goes to Darren, it's 3 to 10 but in favor of uh, John. Now the question comes, is there another clever feint? Although... Nope, so this is gonna be Morgulis, definitely then. We have the Heresy into Morgulis. A quick read from uh, Joe, I'm gonna go first. Decide to choose nothing. Come and help me if you're so smart, Kiro. You see bowels. Arkham is beautiful for the additional economy, for free basically from this point on. Paying brother is gonna be bestowed. Two, and we try that a little bit. Mandan move uh, cancelled. Uh, but the begging brother is going to go for a claim of Miss Beautiful cancelling the first begging brother trigger. And the begging brother is gone. Inter challenge for Ramsey. And Darren slowly creeping away by the way, so <laughs> although I don't think there is something that's going to bail him out. But he's at eleven. And most of the shadow cards don't have the sole necessary power icon. At least not from what we've currently seen. Bear I want scout. Trigger, finding Shibear and trigger for Shibear. Oh, that was unfortunate. So, oh, the last card is no, it, uh, it's not the marriage fire. It would be very nice if it was summer currently, but it's not so. You see more and more. Now comes the question is the last card in hand? Uh, I think there are no more copies actually. Uh, so I'm no one. One, two, three, yeah. So there are no more copies of I'm no one. Mm-hmm. 
Roberto is very scary. Military challenge. Queen's assassins strong as much as uh, Robert. Yep. And this will give the three challenges back. Can't draw from bubbles. Intrigue challenge and a marriage pack or and dominant goes to draw so slow and steady. Um, but now this is gonna be more gorgeous again, I think he has to, I feel like. And the question is, is gonna be the fairies again. Either way, you have to remove the board. Yep. Joe decided he's gonna be first again. We see after the build hall brought that's for free. And Martian Captain Shadow. Gonna be cancelled. Joy is not missing a beat at any stage. Ooh, a spicy card in Shadow. The question is, is it the event or is it the bottom players? We see Mandam. Bowers for card draw. Okay, intro challenge. Aaron bank him back to hand. Find the power icon. King's road. Basically, nothing else there to steal that of a any word. Type dominance. First, now into you win or you die. Uh, I like how Joe is using the you know you die in most of the game that we saw today. Basically recycling all his uh, low cost uh, characters 
for additional trigger. He is trying to protect every card and get more than one use of it. A real treat to watch. Frozen Solid finally showing. I would say a little bit too late, but this is summer. Gonna resurrect a bear I want scout, I assume, or something. Or are saying? Mm -hmm. And Marshall is saying. Oh, Arbor Watchman. Interesting. So, again, we see the moment where we talked about earlier that a single Arbor Watchman is taxing the economy so hard of the opponent, and he saved two gold. <laughs> Darren realized this is gonna be first no. So, Cersei is coming on the board. Uh, luckily now there are not enough cards in Shadow. So she will not, although she has to discard its whole hand. Um, are we gonna see the... Oh, no. Let's see a power challenge. Mm. Birdman ambush two and giving dominance so fourteen. And now Uh, the question is, what do you keep? I would uh, say somewhere. It's in the same in summer. So what's there then? Interesting. So March into Ramsey is the only thing I can think of, so you have to be first. Yep. Oh no. Wait, why didn't you let him go first then? That's a strange uh, choice. Why didn't you go first if you hit Ramsey? Yeah. Looks like that's not the case. We see Alfin is beautiful and now the Ramsey wine is out. Recent Marister Arbor. Oh, he kept the Watchman. Uh, unfortunately, this doesn't stop the power challenge or the intrigue. So. Mandan. Yeah, GG. So looks like Joy is continuing, and is this the only game we, were, we are currently waiting? Uh, quickly check. Table 2 win, table 4 Tamash won, so we are in table 3. Uh, Uh, so let's see how Nasco is doing then. In the okay, I have to 
fix my keyboard one and probably that will be the project for tomorrow Oops, this is a close one by the looks of things although let's see a lot of cart and shadow on both sides close call used or goal is used here we have everything used as well Hmm. You see, as for trigger reducing the shadow assassin trend, killing him outright. And the question is how much burn is on this side for the military. I think both players are, uh, have Danny on the board. Hmm. Or can uh, Nasco burn through this without committing to the challenge? Is the other question. Uh, if he had Dracaris, he would have used it on Dragon, I feel like. This mess with 12. There could be quite a lot of nastiness coming out. Now, so consuming flames on the army, on the. and minus one on the Sunday. So the Drogiano guard stood. So Drogon didn't went through, but two characters went for him. Just for the challenge. And we see a power challenge. This is going to be a pause, I assume, by the army. Yep. And the, if there is anything, nothing will happen there. Is there a Dragon is no slave? There is a Dragon is no slave. So looks like the Nefarious Accord is going to be removed. March used. Mm. So both players looks like they have their burn plot for last. Okay, power challenge with Danny. There is a ring somewhere here. There it is. Nefarious or quite, not one but two. And four. Um, I feel like this could be an incinerate. Oh, so he managed to defend that. Interesting. And dominant goes to Nasco. So ten to one. Next turn is the double burn turn, so both are at equal number of cards and shadows. So first player who puts more cards and shadows basically will keep his uh, 
Yeah. So next casting shadow is killing this. A dupe. I would have put it in shadow. Mirin. Shadow removing the Shadow Black Assassin. Another Cousin Shadow, so both players are currently equal. And to see there is Market Marshal at the far side. Military Challenge. Hmm. 11 gold, although it's a prime. Uh, we don't have any information on there. Maybe we could go back and see. But most of those cards are with the shadow token, so. Ooh, Durgon. Uh, ambush from the hand. This is spelling doom a little bit, I feel like. Uh, although probably not enough doom. Uh, the question is can uh, Dragon be stood now with a card from hand? A song for Drone and Slave. Yep. Phase 2 for the other one. I'm not sure that's a good decision. But both, considering the port is locked. Uh, but he could use Vizerian to his to the Dutraki Honor Guard. And we have to two of those events so on defense for six. The question is is this enough? So next turn is definitely March. The question is what is going to be March here. We see a Consuming flames for all the win probably or are we gonna see one more? Oh no, just win by that and get Dragon from Slave back, which is going to kill the Dracula on our guard. Yep. So I would still march next turn. <laughs> uh, but now I mean I think Katanas is in better position here, so Just because Astapor is there. But maybe we'll see you win or you die from both sides. But Drogon is not surviving any type of challenge. Considering what's in the hand. Yep, the battle of locations. Although Nazco's locations are a little bit better.
Uh, and we see maybe this market new to, re to return consumer claim at the bottom of the deck. I feel like he should use the Marinese market on the Dragonic Conclave here just to get rid of it uh, so he cannot recur it with Daniel the big dragon but that's my thought about we see Costco into March um Hmm, yep, so March here, both rounds. Uh, interestingly enough, he didn't decide to draw first, but yeah, he needs Dani on the board. He was called called draw. I draw that as well. And all of them too expensive. Work of things too. Huh. Mm. Would be born goals for the Shadow Assassin or the other way around. Oof. That came out of nowhere. Uh, but he is dead. So he is definitely dead. I don't know why the Strangler is put there. It doesn't do anything. Also, Drobo will not survive any type of challenge. That felt like a wasted to go to me. Uh, unfortunately, Nasco wasn't able to utilize his marine, and we see. Wait, did he marshal something? No, he. Oh, he marshaled Cart and Shadow directly without the agenda. Okay. And then we have Core Wars and Drago discarded. The power challenge. So, just fire off the two events now and be done with it. Defend for three. Um, now Nasco should use the Marinese market to remove the Dragonist no slave, but looks like there was another one. Ugh. Mm -hmm. And the other market for the other Dragonist no slave. So he cannot uh, recur, uh, uh, recur them with, uh, yeah, with the win of the challenge. Three, three. We know draw is not doing a challenge just because it means dead to him, but it doesn't mean uh, in both cases it doesn't matter. So uh, let's see. One of the dragon is no slave can stand Danny. Mm -hmm. mm. 
question is, is it going to be an intrigue or a power challenge? He's going for power just to bait someone into the challenge. But it's going to be unopposed, as we all know. Uh, return the dragon as a slave. And I think uh, looks like Drogo will not do anything, so just burn the motherfucker down. Unopposed power. Yep, and looks like we're gonna see Drogo burnt. Now Drogo. And pink for one. And the other event as well. Oh, hand judgment. Uh, but draw was still going to die, so the event was played. Hello, it was Trango and Flimboard. And we see a Hello Black Assassin coming out for the intrigue. Or okay, military works as well. If you win or you die, into you win or you die. So let's see who top decks better here. You're welcome, Darren. Yep. Yeah. So, that's, this was the last game. And tournament bracket, let's see. So we have Night's Watch versus Night's Watch Valerian Steel versus uh, Targaryen Assault, and on the other side, Greyjoy Prince versus Kraken. So, which one do we want to watch more? Cut. What do you think? While I remove some stuff from the Oops. Nasco one. Uh, okay, so we're gonna watch now for them. So, yep. So, a night watch with a lot of attachments versus burn that depends on no attachments. Oof. That's definitely gonna be a interesting to watch and we will just wait for them to make the game
Mm -hmm. Let's see if we got table one. Fresh. Now let's see how this will go for Nasco. We are trying every year, Darren, but looks like we are not that famous for for all the tournament and stuff. I'm happy this year there were a lot so many different people that usually don't come. Uh, uh, we'll strive to continue doing better. <laughs> Let's hope we can all travel in 2021 in the end. Uh, like for every other match, VB and the table number. So let's see. Thomas took a mulligan and uh... <laughs> I think the bastard letter was a good idea. I think they are not for that kind of a deck. Uh, or maybe one of to surprise. I mean, we'll see. The I honestly didn't expect that many assaults today. Caught, caught me a little bit. I caught, called it that they're going to be definitely a lot of. Uh, oof, that's a good start for both players. I called it that they're definitely going to be shadows. Shadows is not dead with removing the agenda. VB1. I mean, watch the stream. Why do you want to go into the game? On the phone, it looks terrible, by the way. We see end the gate for, for both players. And we have Gates of the Moon hitting. Vault. Forest Hunter. Top. Oof. Prime target for that. Uh, Swarm to the watch. We know who is going to be the first dead card in this matchup. Noble Lineage. Uh, no, uh, it's just that the... Iron Throne is not suited for the mobile use at all. It looks terrible.
That's an early meeting. Uh, trigger. So this means Nasco's hand is not not that good, or what? I would expect at least some one card to come come out of the hand. Uh, the dragon pit and put something in shadow. Okay, and the card is discarded. None whatsoever. Don't comment on the the games on the, unless you play. Please don't. So a military for one. Defend it. The question is, will Three Finger Hop go into a challenge now? I mean, I cannot help you with that, Kikich. And in not a bad card to bring out of shadows. Military Defend Defend. And Yep, a correct target for that, so all the attachments will go back to the hand. Um, Asko will have to discard a, a few cards, but I feel like he has Missande and all the other shenanigans there, so... Uh, makes sense, for, probably. Uh, let's see if he's going to go into the... Burn pot, although maybe a little bit early for us, but uh, yep, exactly. Joran and Missande. Hope draws cards, so he survived one turn to draw two. Let's see if the next will survive the next one. I'm not very confident in that, but we will see. Although uh, uh, Tamash is running at the Palace of Sorrow, so that could be probably his next turn. Yep. Um, which survive, which makes uh, Hop survive a extra round. Uh, in the meantime, let me open Tamash deck. Uh, the question is: Is it two or one? Uh, he's running two passes of sorrow, so a very heavy anti burn. So at least he guessed the meta semi correctly. Uh, Rego, Drogo. Uh, decision to remove it is because without, I mean, with him on the list, it's basically you cannot play Night Watch in any shape or form. That's the decision in any shape or form with him on the list. He's in a pot with uh, Yoren, so at least that helps, but. Yeah, other than that, I think without at least one of the restricted cards out of the list, Nightwatch is unplayable. 
that's my few cents on it. Going to the watch on the Sunday. Rank was dagger for immunity. Samuel. Lineage. Is by the gut. Four, four. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty sure that won't survive there. Uh, but hey. You never know. So we are going to see double military. Through three, which this means there is a strong war in hand, but that still doesn't help. So, this will probably be defended. And it looks like here is going to be given for claim. Is it? There is duel. Uh, looks like Murgul is next turn, definitely for Nasco. Unfortunately, again, Hope will be alive for quite some time. Entry for 9. So, this is probably going to be defended with uh, just Rego. And also 5 to 1. Very, very slow start. Uh, hope draws 2. So, and now the mind game start. What do you wanna give and how much? Basically, a copy of the world discarded. So, we have you win or die in the Palace of Sorrows. Second one. So, looks like Nasco decided to keep all his resets for the next. Uh, oh, for the later half of the game. Although I'm not sure how much cards he will be able to hide in Shadows. Uh, underground Vault, Underground Vault. Cruster. And that's what you don't want to see basically. Green Dreams. Why on draw? Uh, isn't there a... there is a legit target on Samuel. And a veteran builder. Look for Vizerian. Marshall's Marinese Market. Marshall's a...
So a very interesting coin, honestly. I think that now that the cra now that now crafter is a problem. Um, the question is how big of a problem he is currently. Hmm. And interesting enough, we don't we don't see any attachment on him. So is the burn for omen? I don't think it is. I think it's legacy. The burn pot is legacy. Yep. Now the two passes are out. I think there is a little bit of a lot of breeding rooms, but uh, Tamosh is starting pretty strong here. Entering, discussing consuming frames. We haven't seen Marine trigger this phase. But maybe just because Nasco used his uh, agenda early. And looks like this is for the challenges phase. Um, how much power there is? A lot. Considering uh, Tamas is running. Uh, Leave bottom as a restricted. I think he has to sacrifice the builders now. Stand and two characters must have to go for claim here. So the end one will be saved. Oh no, no one was saved. Oh, brave. Uh, another military challenge. That's why screening house a little bit here. Although all of most of the things that are going. Oh, okay. Um. Now this could be Dracarist down. He said strength four, I think. Veteran builder. Oh, okay, so black. Interesting enough, Nasco allowed it, all of it to happen action by action. Oh, looks like he didn't get all the burner, or didn't want to commit to it. Uh, and 8! A scary, scary situation. He did have the resources, why didn't he just Dracarys him immediately? He would have died, I think. Because this is at the end of the challenge. 
and Daniel would have killed him. Huh. Why didn't he kill Craster? Yep. I really don't understand why didn't he kill Craster last turn. With the Dracaris. We have the Harris into we have Dani, Rego and Viserion. Veteran Builder, Master Raymond, Shadow Tower Mason. And hope is saved. And see, and can't dis go discarded. Yep. Yeah. See Marine. Martin Shadow Travel Bay Port for a Gold and a Carpet. So let's see what will how this will go from here. Oh, oh, I'm bad at this. I forgot. Three bottom. The car. I'm still confused about the burn last turn. I think that Caster uh, could have been killed, and I'm not sure what happened there. But then again, I don't know what's in shadow here, so. This triangle discarded. Great gold. Marshall Swarm to the watch on Samuel, so he is a ranger steward and a builder. Oh no, still no ranger, and a Benjamin. What are the answers? We have Dragon is on Slave. Daenerys. Out of this to remove the this by the guard. Uh, but Daenerys is gonna pink him. Second shadow of this gonna pink Master Raymon.
Mm, and now the question is that was quite a lot of resources happening, but that's what you would expect. So uh, how um, yeah, this what would you expect to happen in the matchup? Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the veteran builders are still there and Benjin is still there, so I don't think uh, how this is going to happen. We have a military for three. There is quite a way to go yet, and uh, orange for five. Um, so he is immune to Danny at the moment, but if he is Dracaris, he's going to die at the end of the challenge phase. Just defense with three. Discard dragon pit at random. Ready next to push one to the watch for a card draw. The power challenge. Mm, you see on a pulse challenge. His outer is at 10. The question is, is he, uh, will he yeah, bring him out of shadow for the veteran builder to win dominance as well? So he's at 13 and now Nasco cannot Morgulis. So now he has uh, what's left? Close call probably. Oh, okay, here we are going for March. Yep. And the Borgulis. Yeah, uh, so setup wall, that's what happens. So if Nasco cannot Morgulis. Uh, Tamash can Morgulis, he's running both uh, resets. So we have an, one Night Forge on the final, so let's see what... Is the other game still going? Uh, Vixen, Vixen, Vixen. I think this is still happening. Let's see. How is this going? Uh, this is going to Joe's way. There's, although a lot of occasions are on the wrong side of the board. Including a scouting vessel on this side and then everything on the other side. So, even oh, this is his night flyer. This even sucks more. So, it looks like Euron uh, did quite some damage at the start. So, the night flyer is currently locked. Mm -hmm. 
So power stopped. Then we have military. Yeah, and a intrigue. This frees all the events, at least one of them is already played, so now that Beowulf is not on the board. <laughs> so, all they flip what? so, oop, clever feint, return everything to shadow quite quickly. So then does this mean he shouldn't have defended the power challenge? And the military was more important? Yep, definitely. If uh, we are expecting to go this kind of route, I feel like the... He should have tried to defend Beor and then Murgulis the board. Yep. Oh, Nightfire is gonna get nuked. Oh, the scout. Why not any some of his locations or he doesn't need them at this stage? There is one more scout. Or scouting vessel. Personal trigger. I'm gonna see a power challenge. How many iron banks are there? Two use, so possibility of one of another one in the hand is very small. Burnman ambush. For the unopposed power, we are going to 13. And time for a big money plot. Okay, Iron Bank. Cersei. So he did draw the third one without his draw engine. Oof. And Ashi is discarded for claim. Interesting, he chose not to marshal her. She could have done some. Or is she dead actually? Oh, Washa is dead. And Dominant goes to Perilikis. Periklis. I don't know how many Duhelises uh, John managed to hit today, but he guessed that time right. Every fucking time. Newly made world. The other uh, Iron Fleet Scout. I don't know the reasoning behind that. And looks like he didn't drew into a characters. So. So we're gonna have a Wani versus Nightwatch finals. Um, Yep.
I'm still surprised how this happened. But uh, yeah, looks like uh, I mean it's a card game. Walk of the draw. So the question is now who is favorite in the next matchup? Because I actually don't know who will be favorite. Uh, Nasco, while you are here, could you please post a, in the Facebook that we are going into the final game, please? I bought my mentions today. So, Tamas versus Joe. And now we just wait for the players to start. Uh, I don't know Darren, but uh, I'm very salty about it, honestly. I think it's a German meta because we have no one from the Germany in the tournament, I think. Uh, or we hit but someone dropped, I don't know. Yeah. I'm very angry about that and now this looks there is a tournament in Chile as well by the looks of this Um, oh. Oh. Yep. Uh, Darren, wanna come and commentate with me? Yep. Let's spell it correctly. Spell it correct.
Let's just encourage them. Uh, yes. yes. 19 minutes final. Joe said he's gonna take some uh, water and we're starting in a few. I'll do the same in the meantime. Be right back. Let's see. So, who do you think uh, is the favorite here? Both players are running double and triple resets. Uh, Joe has first snow, so I think that gives him a little bit of an edge. Uh, and he's running March, first snow, Duharis and Morgulis. And here we have. Duharis, Morgulis and Duel, but I don't expect uh, Joe to be caught with a Duel target on board or I don't think that matters that much um, But yeah Yep, both of them own quite a big share in Europe. Oh. Looks like Joe likes his hand. This means there is a night fire in, in, in the hand. This is the first game we will see fortified position, pro, uh, fortified fortification. Probably used the way it should be used. And. So oh, let's see. Oh, that is actually very good setup. Uh, until I set myself in place, so amazing setup for both players. To be honest, uh, the season movement engine of the deck. 
immediately. <laughs> oh, this makes me so happy. Don't I don't want to deal with this bullshit. Just get it out of the table immediately. Uh, that's not a sandwich. It's a pastry sweet thing that I haven't eaten all day. So. I might want to slice a pizza or something. And the bottom. Thank you. You see, can judgment on the iron bank. I need a cut in Sharon. Um, I would say a pretty good start for Joe. <laughs> we killed the bastard. Turn to the watch. Old Forest Hunter. One hand judgment down. Uh, let's quickly go to, through the important stuff. So, the... The Valera Steel deck is running only 4 events. 3 hand judgments, 1 off to go town. Uh, and what wine is at the gates, double with the pass of sorrows, counting coppers, duel, Vavar to Harris, and Vavar Morgulis. Uh, attachments, a whooping 19 of them. So we have Catapult, Craven, Dragon Glass, Ghost uh, from uh, Watchers on the Wall, Green Dreams, Guard Duty. Imp oh, it's not fortified fortification, it's improved fortification. And to see the wall on setup, that's the best timer skill I've ever seen. Uh, then uh, Wong Kuo, World Commander, Milk of the Poppy, Miner's Peak, Noble Lineage, Miner's Peak, fuck that card. Obsidian Arrows, another card never seen but a lot, very strong in this uh, uh, deck and format. Practice Blade, Reckless Seize by the Guard, Strangler, Sworn to the Watch and Water Dancer for. Interesting choice for a flip bottom restricted but uh, yes, if you wanna take Craven and Hope uh, usually this deck before played Yoren, but then he has to drop uh, three finger hop, Craven, flip bottom. That's too much loss for a single card. Also, that proves that the pot system I think is very good and working. Um, and for Joss, he's running three times Clever Fane, two times Hand Judgment, three times Iron Bank. And pot wine is at the gates, Wown, March, First Note, Trading, Lovarm, Duheris, and Lovarm, Urgulis. Counting into first snow. I think that's a little bit early for snow, considering the curve of uh, Tamash's deck. Tamash's deck curve is. I mean, I know this is not showing characters, but they're. Cost 2 and 3 cards is 31, so which is over the half of the deck. And cost 1 are 24, but most of those are attachments. There are very few. No, there are 6 1 costers in the deck. Uh, 3 builders at the wall and 3 stewards at the wall. So, yep. Um, Yep, a very early Murgulis, very early first now, but uh, I'm not sure what's the idea behind this. I think he's preparing uh, for a big, uh, now that there are two cost attachments here, three cost. I think he, although the veteran builders by themselves with the flip bottom are winning this game in most cases, uh, I think he's preparing for a big uh, Marauder's hits to just wipe the whole hand. That's how this looks like to me. And yep, no one can blame him. There is a one cost, there is a two cost, there is a three cost. Fuck that three bottom.
At least now we, uh, he will knew the world this turn at least. Mm. Oh, Craven. Or maybe not. Uh, the second flip bottom, yeah, this is the... Oh! And as we talked about it, uh, Nighttime Marauders hitting flip bottom and gets rid of... Seized by the guard, Stuart at the wall, Builder at the wall and Miner speak and in the hand we have Strangler, Catapult, Shadow Tower, so cost 2, cost 2, cost... They are moving too fast and a lot of 2 costs. And we have a Haunted Forest Pillage. So now if he can recycle those, it's gonna be amazing. We see a Gold Road gaining gold. Mm. I'm not sure what he was aiming for specifically, but I think he has time to hit all of those, so... Maybe he wanted to make sure there is not a third flip bottom in the hand. And with this gold he ties up the dominance. The that he man, uh, the fact that he managed to remove the is by the I think he was aiming with the attachments because they like come for free. But now he know what he's playing with us. Yeah, that's the bigger part here. We see March into the powers to get initiative. Did he decide to be first? Yeah, he did decide to be first. Um, so does this mean there is one more? Yep, there is one more. He's naming two. And he thinks Strangler, Shadow Tower, Mason, not for content, Underground, Vote. Now he Guild Hall. And in the hand is left Strangler, Swarm to the Watch, Master Raymond, and Master Raymond. Swarm to the Watch for a card draw. Such amazing attachment. Broken is fucking some uh, situation, but such an amazing attachment. And we have a practice blade. Now that it is a night watch. A veteran builder. Where 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 is the veteran builder? Oh, he just drew into it. Okay. Um, catapult. Oof. Ah, uh, yeah. Good old catapult on the wall. Do you play into it? Because this means no power challenge. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. But I think he has to do the challenge. And the funny part is, if he wanna kill him, he has to know the. To, feel f to free up the power challenge. And I think that's uh, like everything that uh, Joe wanted to do here and he won't do anything more. I don't expect him to give a target and to free the attachments. He wants them there now. So they're reusable draw. And the veteran builder is is basically stopped by the Artemis Guild Hall. Mm -hmm. mm, he doesn't.
I don't think he has to go into the catapult. Power challenge, he's going to oppose it. And the man goes to draw. Mm, the fact that he didn't go into the catapult with the marauders is just uh, he doesn't want the to free the, those two attachments. They had to be played here for him to draw the veteran builder and the catapult. And we finally see at the gates with the palace of sorrows. Like Joy is gonna be first again. Now there are a few characters on the board that but most all of them are not that one. Watch our card on shadow, bowels, nightwire for boof. Boof the wall. And gain gold from bowels. One card in shadow. So now three gold. I think Amanda is working somewhere there. Oh, he marshaled another one. So and the money maker himself here. So I assume it's gonna be draw draw. Uh, Alchemist stopping the first draw. Mm -hmm. This will be the first time we see a offensive uh, Night Switch because now he has to go on the offense. Mm, I let's see if Mulin is gonna be played. Hmm. I'll be a for two. Uh, for one and bringing two gold. And he is done with his challenges. Uh, I was about to say the question is now is there a penny? It looks like not. Lion Gate draw and we see a Rose Roll discarded at random. Military challenge for six. Mm. Defense for three. And yep. Bill Bone goes for claim. And for power challenge. The Alchemy Guild Hall coming out of shadows. Now we are coming into Tamosh's resets, so we have flown into duel. And Tamosh is basically with an empty hand. Walking into a 16 gold. Uh, yep. Returns. Uh, Nightfire, I'm gonna hit the economy. Castle Black. The 
Captain Shadow, Crossroad. Kill the board on the other side looks very scary. Alchemy is good hold to cancel this and we're going to draw a card. Yep, as I said, improved fortification will show its usefulness for the first time ever. Mm. Alchemist build hole is gonna come out of shadow now. Yep. And then go for bowels. Hide the wait. Oh, that's one spare turn, right? So intrigue challenge. Can be me on Facebook. I saw the message, uh, the badass. Uh, we'll see. On a post, giving insight to Kirian. So last two plots are Doheris and Morgulis for uh, yeah. for uh, Tamash. We see Birdman ambush for a military. Let's see defense for three. Uh, looks like this could be over Kane or Roberto. Uh, I'm gonna kill the Shadow Tower Mason. And you see, not even a try to save him. The question is what else is going to die now. Is there a double claim? Was this hitting? Worse than the war. Yeah, okay. And a power challenge. I feel like with uh, this one. Yep. Um, no, I don't think he has Clever Faint. I think he's going to play Duheris into the Morgulis next turn. If he doesn't have Clever Faint. That's how things look like to me. Rain to face if Amon goes again. Gonna take one more power. You see Iron Bank, the Marauders for Thermand and Moore. Um, yep. 
Yeah, boss was triggered several times. He kills the veteran builder, which is an interesting choice. So this freed up an attachment for him. Let me see, cut put ambushed for a... yep. Cancelled. So this basically ensures that uh, by, uh, Amon will not be cancelled in the taxation. In the next pot phase. But I'm not exactly sure, yeah. So yeah, looks like I, I was right for the Dukeris. And if uh, yep, The question is what how much is going to choose now. And I think that uh, regardless uh, Meister Mulis Meister Amon for the Harris. That's an interesting choice. So he's gonna save Aim uh Mullin because he can take all the attachments. Looks like that's the plan here. And to allow him to draw deeper into the deck. And there is one uh, yep, Marauders And he's gonna name Practice Blade, Drangle, Dagger, Guard, Duty Bow for Gold Marshal the Cut in Shadow Turn to the watch. Great draw. And now catapult. Looks like the forest contact came from there. Noble lineage. Actually, very well played uh, by Tamash here. Uh, and I think he's gonna play the catapult as well uh, on the forest hunter. Um, yep, I think now the catapult should come uh, should come on the. And this way, Joe will not do any kind of challenges. Uh, and a third trigger, or maybe second, I don't know. The gold roll for five. And I wonder if uh, Joe will just pass his challenges. Oh no, after see. Bowl for two. Trigger Cersei to discard a card and do a power challenge. Hmm. Interesting enough, he didn't trigger Cersei, or at least I missed it. Oh no, Hope was discarded. Okay. So the early Vower paid off actually. Let's see after the guild call. Then it hits the wall.
A big military challenge. I'm not sure what's the idea behind this. You get pillaged a single card. That way, which I think is a terrible choice. Yep. The, the gold mine trigger for a card draw. And now we have Duharis into act ah, into trading. Okay. Um, it's uh, it's not surprising that the Marauders are restricted. So, yeah. But again, they were on the restriction only because this deck. And if we target this deck, we are hitting a lot of other decks, I think. So, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, first player, Joe decides to be first. Tunnels. Now the catapult is useless. And the Bowels card draw engine is online. You see Tyrion going to return Nightfire for the next phase. Hmm. That Rose Roll looks juicy. Veteran Builder. Yep, Tunnel Stragglers will push through and everything. Uh, let's see if there. Uh, yep, Nighttime, uh, Fire, Thirsty, hitting the Gold, Bowels, or Gold. It's a military jump. On the relentless hate, and th I think this is the third copy of the wall. Yep, this is how you play corset wall, guys. You draw it. Like a mad what every phase, every turn. I'm surprised he didn't marshal it. Uh, and we see that uh, Joe is not hitting the arrow tower, walking the attachment there because he could stay, choose not to save. And then just have uh, this Mulin and the Marauder Spillage, the Obsidian Arrows, Intrigue Challenge for the Insight. And so the water is discarded, so uh, one, another, one more source of economy draw there. Inside, when as expected, not a power challenge uh, left to be given here. Uh, for a card draw and dominant goes to John. We see Tunnels brought out for a card draw. 
And the question is, did he drew into Aram Bank on Robert? Not an interesting choice. Even that. I think this is Duharis. Again. Mm. Duel or Valar? Um. Oh. Cersei got marched. Um, I think Joy is gonna wipe uh, the hand without a problem here. Who is first? Joy is gonna be first. Cart in shadow. Uh, the question is is it a cheap cart in shadow? It is a cheap cart in shadow. Uh, putting the marauders back. Um, I wonder what he's going to take. Flip bottom. Okay, and then Marauders to hit cost 3 with the Veteran Builder and the Catapult. Oh, he just discarded the Catapult. And I think that solves all the problems currently. Double Lineage. Uh, man, this deck draws like crazy. Reckless. Sure, not big of a pain in the ass, and the uh, Shadow Tower Mason. Is there something to cost or war here? Oh, there is Gunther. Looks like Gunther is gonna prove to be a military. It's only two, that is a surprise. So the question is what he's going to kill. I assume this one. Although he has the potential to... Oh, so he killed uh, to reuse the attachment, which... Not a bad choice if you ask me. The Hagen's daughter. Interest challenge with uh, Noble Lineage, Ambush to save it, gain a gold, uh, and he don't defend it, so he is looking to do a Interest on the backlink or a power. Uh, and with that, I think Josh should do the challenges. Yes, one gold exactly for a surprise icon here. Trixie might of his mind of it. I mean, both decks are playing location base, so I am not surprised there is no disaster here. The gold roll to gain a gold. And this ties the dominance. <laughs> and clever fancy everything back to shallow. I'm surprised he didn't return the uh, tunnels as well. We see Morgulis into counting. Why Morgulis now? And not for snow. Or it was the, no, for snow is not used. Yep. 
Hold off. Did he misclick? I would have definitely thought uh, Nightfire get rid of that crossroad. Draw phase, he could get the uh, Killing Bastards to get a location Like Maybe Castle Black or Haunted Forest, I will get a Haunted Forest <laughs> oh, insult to injury. Ooh, Janos. Um, I don't think he's in for this world. I don't think there is any resource left in the Valyrian Steel deck. Blackwater Raiders. Uh, Underground Vault, okay. Both of two. More than more. I'm actually not sure why the Morgulis. I would have walked into first snow. Oh, Marauders. So we have Water Dancer Sword and Craster in hand. Defense and Craster randomly. That's not what you want to see now, knowing there is one in hand. That's the only 5 costs what I think. We have Inter Challenge. On a post. Power. 12, 13. And he doing military for dominance and win. Oh, he doesn't have claim. Right. Military. Thirteen. So close yet so far away. I'm. I wonder why he didn't use Gunter. To hit one more card. Or to hit at least a card in the hand. But maybe he's going to save it for next turn. The question is, is he playing first snow or uh, the Harris? And the gates. I I don't know anything anymore. But looks like this will be it. Marshall's a card in shadow. Game two. Gonna hit Craster. Yep. And what's left there? Season Woodsmont, Eamon is dead, so Season Woodsmont, Water Tensor Sword. Gonna draw some cards. It's gonna be cancelled. Draw from Valyrian Steel. 
Hey! Uh, I mean, you're welcome, guys. So, Joe is gonna have a buy at Wolf or Stalin this year, so he's gonna go refreshed into the cut. Uh, playing played one more, one less game. Congratulations. To our champion and thanks for joining us this year um lemon there we go one kraken so my prediction the other day around was correct that one kraken will be something to fear and yep Joe just came and proved it correctly. I think he's playing the same thing in the World Cup currently, so played. But yeah. So this is how the current meta looks like, guys. Assault, Nightwatch Steel, Gradual Prince, Wani Kraken. There is Stark Hollow Hill also. Uh, Martel Hollow Hill looks like to be good, or they found a niche situation where he could play it, but. It's never been a bad deck, but it worse is just better. And yeah, at least top 8 for our tournament. Thank you everyone for joining me today. And I hope all of you had a great time. I'll be in a second in the Discord to greet you all again. Thank you all everyone for joining the stream. And see you on the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.